What up, party people? Matt Lehman, the owner of Spatula City Records. Are you ready for some Rocktober? Tournament. Okay, so thank you so much. Tournament is closed. There are 40 contestants up for prizes, winnings, blah, blah, blah. Thank you to the 40. Sorry to the three that got axed, but rules is rules. You had to have them in by midnight, and three of you did not. Sorry. So here's how it goes. Each record 12 inch single will score a point off of my instagram by voting for it so anybody can vote however we had some issues last year with gerrymandering or not last year but for march madness and people got upset because you could get your friends to vote for them which i thought was kind of cool because it helped out my instagram but whatever but so to change it this year only people that currently follow me are allowed to vote Anybody can vote, but I'm only counting those that already follow me. So you can't go get your friends to vote for yours so you win the tournament. So it's based on the 9,600 and, I don't know, 40 people that follow me. Uh, if you know a lot of those people, then, all right, maybe you can gerrymander a little bit. But as it stands, and trust me, I will be watching. I have two iPods and a microphone so i will be watching to see who's voting and if they actually follow me and you must have been following me as of yesterday you can't all of a sudden get your friends to join and follow me although i'd appreciate it if you got your friends to follow me i would love that and be very appreciative and maybe you'd get something down the road but as it stands you must have followed me yesterday so i'll break this down for you every day there will be four competitions there'll be four matchups otherwise this thing will last forever um, so, for example, today's battles will be Lisa Lisa and the Cult GM Head to Toe versus Miami Sound Machine's Conga. You pick which one you think should go is a better song or should go to the next round. That's the first one. Next one is Bengals Walk Like an Egyptian versus Stevie Nicks Stand Back. You vote for that. On the next one, it's Whitney Houston versus Tina Turner. You vote for which one of those. Last one is Belinda Carlisle versus Tiffany. You vote for which one of those? You must vote for all four matchups. If you only vote for one, it's not counted. Everybody has to be equal in this. So if you're gonna, if you want to vote for one, make sure you vote for all four. It's not going to count. Once this will go for 24 hours. So tomorrow, uh, this will be posted at 10 o'clock this morning my time. So tomorrow at 10 o'clock, four more matchups will go up, and that one will be done. I will tally the votes. Those four winners will move on to the next round, if that makes sense. So, for example, if Belinda Carlisle beats Tiffany, Belinda Carlisle goes to the next round. Tiffany gets knocked out. And we've already discussed points. If you need to see that, then it's back up on an earlier video. Basically, the first round's worth one point. The next round's worth two, three, or two, four, eight, 16, 32, and 64 for the finals. So feasibly, you could lose quite a few in the first round and technically still win as long as you pick the winner all the way through. Uh, as we get closer to the end, I'll probably put it down to two matches per day because four is a lot. I get that, and it's a lot to vote for. Please make sure that you vote for the song and the artist or at least the song because a lot of these are going to be Madonna versus Madonna and Prince versus Prince or whoever. So if you vote for Prince, it doesn't really help a whole lot if he has two singles fighting it out. I'll, I'll ax that whole vote. But anyway, let's have some fun. We'll get this started at 10 o'clock, and thanks for playing, and welcome to Rocktober! Rock!